Now, when I finally got to the point where I got it and would have done a team, by then I had a radio show and, yeah. I, had, and, and I had a show, so I had a booth. Yeah. And, and now my friends will sometimes come and work mm -hmm. the booth. When you see, the, we just played the, the segment from our last mm -hmm. uh, walk in Los Angeles, and my, a bunch of my college friends were there being painted mm -hmm. by children who were on the spectrum. Oh, that's uh, cool. And, and that, mm -hmm. they always thank me afterwards mm -hmm. and say, thank you for including mm -hmm. me in this because I, I gain so mm -hmm. much information and I get more than, than I gave. Mm -hmm. So include your family and friends. Oh, definitely. Um, and, you know, for me, it's, it's really amazing how your, your world evolves. And I'm actually really grateful um, for this journey. Um, of course, you know, I never wish for autism in, for Dylan or in his life, but I've met so many incredible people um, through Dylan's journey and so with that I think it helped me grow as a person and evolve and you know it really have, has opened doors to just a whole different world for me and so grateful on the friendships and you know partnerships that I've built over the years and if it weren't for autism in a strange way that wouldn't have happened and so you know it's you, I guess you just have to look at the positive and things yes. and, you know, it's, trying to build better lives for our children, but with a level of acceptance. Yes. Yes. I, I, since I first interviewed Eustacia Cutler, Temple Grandin's mm -hmm. mom, and she used the word tribe and mm -hmm. said it's important to find your tribe. Oh, yeah. And, and I remember thinking about that and thinking, oh, that's what happened to me when I, when I fully moved into acceptance on being an autism mom, mm -hmm. I found my tribe. Now, and, and I know that there are people who are watching who are in their early days who are, who are like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's not a gift. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. how can you say mm -hmm. that there are, you know, there are good things about this? Mm -hmm. And we remember yeah. that there was a period of time where yeah. we were in that space as well, and we don't want to poo-poo that at mm -hmm. all. You have your right to your grief. Mm -hmm. You have your right to have the feelings that yeah. you have in the beginning. But do know mm -hmm. that for most of us, there comes a moment mm -hmm. of acceptance, mm -hmm. and you don't have to be afraid of it. It's not a horrible thing. Mm -hmm. And acceptance is not the same thing as contentment, Yeah. right? It's Absolutely. not like, okay, <laughs> I'm giving up, and there's yeah. nothing else to be mm -hmm. done. Oh, no, no, no. no. Acceptance no. is, this is where we are, mm -hmm. and you look at all the things that are there, no, not true. just the negative things. Mm -hmm. You look at all the things and go, okay, that some of this is not as bad as I mm -hmm. first glance, right? Some of this can actually be good, and then you figure out what needs to be improved, right? And that's, you can get all of those things at the walk. And mm -hmm. everybody is invited to the walk. People who are on the page of, we were just mm -hmm. diagnosed, I'm in the grief. Mm -hmm. It's good to come and see that you are not alone. Because mm -hmm. that's a big part of this journey too, where you think, I'm, I'm completely alone, I'm on the moon, nobody gets it. You cannot think that at the walk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And one, I think, positive thing we try to do is a lot, you know, a lot of my friends, um, our kids are, you know, in the teenage years, and mm -hmm. I have a lot of friends with young adults, and we really try to have them kind of be our ambassadors at any level that yes. they are at on, you know, on the spectrum, and get out there, and they're present, and they're, you know, they're, they are on my committee, they help, they volunteer, and they have a great time too, and I think seeing that is always such a positive thing yes. um, to see. I have friends, um, I have a really good friend, Hope, and her son is about seven years older than Dylan, and we've known each other for, you know, many, many years. And I, I remember she just kept telling me it's going to get better, and I've watched her son evolve into a young man and watched Dylan, and it was true. And there were times when I thought, there's no way, you know, but having someone that you know by your side as a rock and I try to be that I have a lot of friends with younger kids that yeah. have been diagnosed and I think you know we just need to support each other yeah. especially at this walk come together and just really be a community and a voice yes